hi guys welcome to my channel uh, this is a video I've been meaning to share and it's just my journey throughout um, just dissolving my fibroids from what I've read and uh, the idea behind this is just to see if um, anyone who's watching has done a similar thing what were the results like and obviously um, I'm having another scan when this lockdown is over and I'll let you know how my journey is going so first thing I did, uh, this was last January, but this one, I stopped eating meat. As they say that a lot of uh, meat is processed. I still eat fish. And obviously I don't live in America. And um, a few people told me obviously the regulations are different and uh, in the U EU and in the UK would be fine. But I still took that choice to stop having meat. And then this January, I became vegan so that way I wasn't exposed because a lot of fish uh, that we eat are farmed and apparently for them to grow I should really know a lot about this but I don't a lot of hormones are used which then influence uh, our hormones in humans and for females it's even worse so first thing I did was become vegan and I so also stopped drinking alcohol just um, because alcohol is an inflammatory, so that way, as, as the fibroids are like a large inflammation, that way it's just a way of avoiding um, them to get irritable. I remember when I used to go out last year and and have uh, drinks, I could feel the difference. The mass was just a bit more irritable and just felt more pronounced than usual. So I'm going to go through the herbs that I take and I'll, I'll put links below if you want to try them out and also contact me if you've tried them before, if they didn't work, if you know any of any better things to take. So I buy these online from a Portuguese website and these herbs are from South America. I've done some of my research and people do claim that it has worked. Some people say that it hasn't um, shrunk the fibroids completely but it helps reduce the size, which like, my biggest fibroids is basically the size of like a one of these sitting on top of my uterus, like a tissue box, like a 10 by 10. And the doctors have told me the best thing to do is to have an open surgery. And ideally, I don't want that. So even though I believe that the fibroids will completely disappear, but even if they don't, I'm hoping that they shrink and I can have a keyhole surgery at my age I think it would be better and um, because I don't have kids so it's just less messy so I'm going to go through my herbs so the ones I have to take in the morning it's booksy the instructions are in Portuguese but they, they're really easy so it's just um, booksy I think I'm pronouncing it right I'll put it down below and I'll put a picture somewhere here with, with the product so booksy amarelo which is like yellow booksy and this is from a tree in South America. You I boil one tablespoon um, into one liter of water for about ten minutes, and then half before having anything else in the morning, I have a half a liter of this. One thing that I didn't mention, I, um, I think last year August I started doing intermittent fasting just because um, it's good. I think it's a good way to get the toxin out of your body, just to give your body a rest. So normally I only start eating at, at 12. So, and the reason for this as well, like having the fibroids and having to take all these supplements is so much. It's easy now that we're in lockdown. I don't have to go into work. But I still maintain the start eating at 12. So first thing I'm, well, first thing I actually have is um, 200, of, like just a cup of tea, one of these, just 250 mils with four drops of iodine. I'll put the link of the iodine I use. It's the first thing I have. And I saw a holistic healer and she gave me a list of things to do and to have. I'll probably do another video about it, what she recommended. But like if you've been researching on fibroids, you know a lot of people say, oh, it depends who you are. And I just hate that. It's just like, is there a way of shrinking them or not? So the first thing I have in the morning is a cup of iodine with like four drops and then 250 mils of water and then I wait about and I do my exercise um, wait about an hour 
30 minutes get this boiling and have 500 mils of this and the other uh, 500 mils I keep it for next day so after the day after having that I also have I use one tablespoon of moringa I also put the link of which moringa I use I got it on Amazon into 250 mils of water hot water and then I have that again and just before my lunch this is something that I should have been doing for longer but I haven't been doing it I have some turmeric the turmeric I get is a vegan vegan they're all vegan I mean it's organic and it's from my vegan so this is the turmeric I use so I just this turmeric comes with this little spoon I just put one of these in like not a lot of water. I drink this as a shot. I, I used to hate turmeric, but now I actually like it. So just one of these, I put it in the cup with about 100 mils of water and have that. And then around 12, I have my lunch. Um, and uh, before going to bed, or I was reading online, I didn't. This is actually the last thing I have. You're supposed to have it before your dinner in an empty stomach. Sometimes I have it after dinner, wait about half an hour. So for this one, which is Cat's Claw, again, South American, it's, uh, you put four tablespoons into one litre of water, let it boil for 15 minutes, and then have half a litre in the evenings. Other supplements that I have, which I don't have it religiously, I've got the black sesame seeds. Normally, if I haven't had much to eat, I just, um, I also have yule if I'm quite hungry, so I just blend one tablespoon in this one here the lady that actually told me to take these she said you can make this vegan yogurt which is two cups of uh cashew nuts uh, one cup of the seeds and then you know, let it soak and the next day, next day you just whiz it and that becomes like a, a yogurt which you can keep out to five days you can also if you take um probiotics you can break a capsule in there and then yeah become like a proper yogurt but vegan so that's the herbs I take, and the same lady that I saw, she's actually on uh, YouTube, so maybe you can contact her if you're interested. She told me to, so I use uh, magnesium salt and just dissolve it in rose water. I'm not sure what the science behind this is, and just spray it on my body after having a shower. And um, I'm not sure, I think she said something about helping with the circulation, but that's what I do. I will put a link of the magnesium salt I bought. Again, it's from Amazon. And then every time um, before to moisturize myself, I use castor oil in my tummy, where the fiber is. I got this on Amazon. I wish it was a glass bottle, but it's plastic. But I just try and, and keep it away from the sun. And instead of using uh, loads of different moisturizers, because um, I've read a lot as well that the chemicals are really bad for you, I just bought this almond, sweet almond oil, and that's my main moisturizer that I use. Again, I got it on Amazon. I oh, will try and take pictures. I've got the link of where I get everything. Lastly, before I go to sleep, it's so it's such a long process, and the more I read, the more things I want to add, but it just becomes a lot. But I guess if it's going to work, have to do what you're going to do. One thing that I've recently started i've been reading about it loads is the castle oil packs so this month i've decided to do it properly for about a month or two months and then see how it goes so i've got this you can i think you can use old t-shirts but i got this flannel from this company what's the it's quite a, it was like 12 pounds so it's, it's a lot something that you and it's really cute as well so i've cut a bit of this which you can use it for about two weeks and then put it in the fridge and there's loads of video on YouTube how to do custard, custard oil packs but what I do is just uh, bought a hot water, hot water bottle put water in the kettle and then just um, uh, custard oil here put it in my tummy for about an hour just before I go to sleep so yeah that's the steps I've been doing for to try and get rid of my fibroids Another thing that I've included is I've been doing lots of exercise, which is just for my health. But a lot of blogs that I read, they do talk about how important exercise is. 
and even though I'm not overweight, but it's really important to keep your your weight um, in check, just because it can influence the growth of fibroids as well. That's just stuff I've been reading. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, so if you're doing something similar to me, or you've got any questions, please put in the link below. I will put my email down in the comments so we can keep in touch and see what's the best way to get rid of these fibroids. Thanks for watching. Bye.